Hi, my name is Jasmine. We just bought a new house and now we're renovating. And I thought I would tell you why. I mean, other than the fact that we didn't like everything that was in this house, the reason why we are rushing, and I mean rushing, to get this project done is because not only am I eight months pregnant, technically 37 and a half weeks, I am planning on doing a home birth. It's kind of hard to do a home birth when you're in the midst of uh, construction and chaos. We are on a very tight ticking time bomb timeline. We have no idea when this baby is gonna come. We're really, really hoping that we'll be able to get all of this done by the time this little person arrives. But truthfully, they could come any day now and we're pretty much just betting on them roughly on time, close to our due date, which is in two and a half weeks. <laughs> no pressure, no pressure. The whole reason we started on that top floor was because I need somewhere to give birth and the best place would be in our bedroom slash close to the bathroom. Here we are, ripping out carpet, slapping paint on walls as quickly as we possibly can so that it's all ready to go by the time this person decides to show their face. Do I feel really stressed about it? Yes. Was this the best decision we could have made? Probably not. But here we are, uh, we had actually sold our house back in June, or not our house, our condo. We had roughly 400 square feet. When you're in that tiny of a space, you really start to look at things and go, hmm, yeah, I don't think this is gonna work. We promptly put our condo up for sale. It sold decently quickly, but the market, Calgary right now is kind of chaos. We spent the last three months looking at house after house after house and bidding on all sorts of things and not getting it just because of how volatile the market has been lately. And now here we are, finally got a place, literally at the last possible moment. We moved in the day before we had to give possession of our condo over to the new person. We did that in the span of two weeks, bought a place, got all the paperwork and all of the things done and ready to go so that we could move in here. Did we stop once we got in? No, 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 <laughs> no, because we had exactly one month after moving in to theoretically get everything done before this baby shows up. We've been doing that and it's been really intense. I mean, we've been only been doing it not even for a week yet and it feels like you're you're dead at the end of the day. You're so exhausted because you've been working so hard and trying to get as much as you possibly can done in one day. And I know everyone's probably been watching our videos of our like tiny little shorts of every single day and been like, oh, cool, you, you painted baseboard today. Wow. Here's the thing, all of that stuff takes a lot of work. And my husband and my father-in-law and my father have all been really amazing and all of the hard work that they have been doing and putting into our house to be able to help us achieve our goal. And now here we are, almost at the end of the first week of this crazy reno. It's looking pretty promising. The upstairs is close to being done. The biggest part now is getting the flooring in. I imagine we'll take longer than we anticipate, but you know, with the help of our families, I'm sure we'll get it done. And it's a matter of moving all the stuff upstairs, because um, as you can see, I am literally sitting on our bed in the middle of our living room. <laughs> right now, as uh, we kind of feel like this is our little um, studio suite, because, you know, we got, our, we got our couch to the right of me and our kitchen to the left of me and our bed just in the middle of this <laughs> living room. This is how we've been living for the last week. Kind of crazy. Here we are. We're getting it done and we're surviving. They're staying put so far, so, so far, I think it's good. I think we're doing okay. With the ceilings and the walls and the trim all painted and the carpet gone, with just roughly the flooring being needing to be put in and new light fixtures, 
and then all of our furniture. I'm sure we'll be done in time. That's a, that's kind of our big update for right now. Uh, we're, we're pushing because we have a very unpredictable deadline that we cannot control. Y'all can definitely guarantee that I am doing everything possible to make sure that this little human being doesn't come now or anytime soon. But you know, life happens. They could show up literally any day. We're planning on home birth. We kind of need our home to be a little bit more maintained, together, not dusty. <laughs> That's that's what's been going on. Keep watching all of our shorts because you get to see and find out. Get to finish all of the things in time. Oh, by the way, we are also planning on ripping out the floor here on the main floor and obviously painting all the walls and trim and the ceiling. Hopefully before this baby shows up, but you know, anything can happen. Wish us luck. Keep watching all of our shorts because you get to see, will we make it? Will we not? I have no idea. Here's hoping. We'll talk later. Okay, bye.